All right, guys, today I'm working on my 2011 6.7 liter power stroke, and I got a code P228F. So I changed out the fuel rail on it. There's not a video on YouTube, so I figured I'd put one. All right, guys, so took out my wheel well so you could uh, access some of these bolts a little easier Get one right there one right there 13 millimeter also you got to take out this piece right here sits in there kind of like that covering up the uh, fuel rail All right, guys, you get this little clip off with the green wings on it. You uh, simply grab you with a pair of needle nose pliers, squeeze in on both of those, and you just push out. This clip will rotate all the way around, so once you get it, uh, once you get it squeezed, you can get to get a pair of pliers or a screwdriver or something in there and get it popped out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But once you get that popped out, you just wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, and it'll eventually come off right there. Also, you'll want to unplug those sensors right there. That one right there. And this one right here. Took the charge pipe and just rotated it up around so I had a little more room to get in there. But it's fairly easy to get this clip off here once you take that out of the way. And then you'll be using a 17 millimeter to get uh, all the injectors off the hard lines. And that's pretty much uh, pretty much it there. All right, guys. So just a little update. The uh, 17 millimeter box in wrench did not work. Had to go run to the store and get a uh, crow's foot 17 millimeter set because uh, those were pretty tight. And I didn't want to run the risk of stripping them. As you can see, I've got everything disconnected, and I'm about to drop the old rail out, and we're about to put the new rail in. All right, guys, I got the uh, new rail back in. Cycled the key about five or six times. Started the truck up, checked for leaks. Everything seemed to be good. And I uh, hit the accelerator and charge pipe blew off because I forgot to tighten it down. About had a heart attack, shut the truck down, and uh, I thought I blew out a line or something on the, on the rail. So don't do that. Uh, Everything went pretty easy. The only problem I had was I dropped two bolts down, the bolts that come out of the bottom of the rail. I dropped them down there in between the motor and the frame mount, and that was a pain in the butt trying to find them. So uh, if you can avoid doing that, the job might go a little smoother for you. But I think this has fixed my problem, and that was throwing uh, code P228F, which is a uh, rail pressure regulator, which is that sensor right there, was out of range. And I uh, took it off, and uh, we'll show y'all that. Let's see, here, here's the old one here. I guess it was dirty kind of hard to tell I definitely would not advise changing this just this piece because it was really tight in there uh, I don't know doesn't look too dirty looks a little rusty who knows it's got 170,000 miles on the truck maybe that's normal wear and tear I have no clue but this seemed to have fixed my problem and uh, hope this helps y'all in the future that's the inside of the rail there. It looks a little dirty. I mean, it's not terrible, but hey, who knows? I'm not a diesel mechanic, just a DIY guy.